now we can see the batch we just created on the batches waiting user input section. By clicking on the name of the batch, we can open it for editing. The first data capture tool we are going to learn about is the OCR zone, and we are going to use it to capture the invoice total from this document. First, here on the right, we are going to click on the invoice total field, and then up on the toolbox, we have to make sure we have the OCR zone tool selected. Then we create a zone around the data we want to capture. And we can see the amount was successfully captured. The next tool we are going to talk about is the Select Text tool. And we are going to use it to capture this address up here. Again, the first step is to click on the desired data field. And then up on the toolbox, we make sure we have the text select mode enabled. Finally, we highlight the text we want to send to the data field. And now we can see here the text we just captured. Now we are going to use the IntelliTag tool to capture the invoice number. Again, we select the field we want to use, and then on the toolbox, we make sure we have the IntelliTag tool selected. Because the IntelliTag tool is looking for a tag, and then ChronoScan will automatically look for the data, we are going to use the invoice number tag. We just highlight the tag we want to use, and then we can assign the desired settings. We want to use the text invoice number for search text, and we want to search for a value. On this case, we want to use the nearest code. And we can also set that IntelliTag as a global IntelliTag. When we click on Create, we can see the result of that IntelliTag. We can see the data was correctly captured. Now we are going to learn how to use the Grid tool to capture this table data right here. First, we make sure we select the Grid tool on the toolbox, and then we create an area over the table you want to capture. Then we need to make sure all the columns are on the right place. Make sure we select a master column with the correct options. Then on the grid panel, we save the grid and then we click on the read button to make sure the data is good. And we can see here, all the data on this grid was successfully captured. Finally, we're going to learn how to use the trigger tool. First, we make sure we have it selected on the toolbox. And then we are going to create a trigger to set the position for the grid. We are going to use the PO number text. We are going to create a generous area around the word we want to use for the trigger. We can name it grid top. And then on text exist field, we can either select the text from the drop down menu, or we can manually type it in. When we are ready, we can click on apply, and you're going to see the newly created trigger right here. To link the grid to the trigger we just created, we just have to click on the anchor icon on the grid, and then click on the trigger we want to use. And you can see now 
the grid and the trigger are both linked together. That same technique can also be used to link OCR zones. Now, every time the PO number text moves, the grid will move together with it.